I'm going to make some changes here, man, because I'm, you know, I've been having a, a lot of success with running the ball, so I'm going to change this. And put the rush defense at 75. And like I said, guys, I don't even know if this is the best setting. You know, these are just the settings that I had when I was originally playing this game. You know, I'm sure there's been other sliders to come out. But I'm getting a good experience, man, with the sliders I have. So that's why I continue to run with them. Let's test out the run game right away. We'll get to it. Nice little run. See, look at the yards, man. <laughs> 523 yards on the ground. Like I said, this is my fourth game. So, I don't know, you know. Maybe it's just because it's the college game, you know, I haven't, I'm having so much success. But we'll see. Nice run inside there. And uh, my starting quarterback got hurt. So I'm running with this guy here. He's my backup, Morrison. I think my quarterback is out for uh, eight weeks or something like that. Nice pass, nice catch. live with that. Try to get my man William involved. Williams. See if I can hit him on another slant. I love the heat check, man, in this game. That's definitely one of the things as well I would like to see go to that. Oh, bad decision right there. I, I thought that he was going to bypass that linebacker right there. Um, almost very costly. Luckily enough, that guy doesn't have any hands. <laughs> Alright, let's see. That was very stupid, man. I should have just threw the ball away. Nice run defense right there. That's good to see right there. All right. Third down situation. Let's see what we want. And look for Williams deep. He might beat his man off the line. If not, I'll probably come to... Lacanera. There it is. Wide open. See, Morrison seems to have a more of a wobbly pass, man, but he's putting the ball in there a little bit better than my starter. It appears to be it anyway. You know, I'll have to go take a look at their stats. For their attributes, you know, I see if if maybe he's better with the, you know, accuracy or what have you. Change the uh, 
quarter length to five minutes with no, you know, no accelerated clock. You know, it still gives me a pretty good time. There we go. Nice run. It gives me a good amount of time. You know, the game is not extremely long. And the main reason why I want to do that, man, is because, you know, putting the games up on YouTube or what have you, you don't want them to be too long. Alright, so we get on the board first. So I'm going to come out in the nickel. I'm going to start off with pressure. Oh, come on. That receiver was about to get gone on me. All right, so they're going to do a no huddle. Guys, tighten it up out there. <laughs> Those physics, man. You know, I think the physical side of this game was pretty good, but you know, it's still lacking that real, you know, gang tackle ability, which we still even don't have in uh, Madden 15. But I think that, you know, for the most part, the physics in this game is pretty clean, you know, as far as what was offered. But, you know, we still need to get that the real physical aspect, you know, this, the next step of this. It needs to be more gang tackle. It needs to be tackles, you know, based more on the player's weight and momentum and things of that nature. And, you know, I'm hoping to see that. Oh, that looked like almost a busted play. But I'm hoping to see that at Madden 16, man, so stay tuned. We'll see. You know, I'm hoping that it'll be more on an NHL type of level. As well as uh, Joe Montana as well, you know. Definitely that game, in my opinion, has to incorporate some type of physics. Man, my DBs are sitting there watching instead of making a play on the ball. Hey. This guy's been getting abused, man. Let's go take a look at him. I'm going to take a look at his attributes. So we can all look at this together in real time. Well, I've been meaning to do this, man, the last couple of uh, games. Oh, Lord. Sorry for that noise there, guys. All right, let's take a look at number 20 here. He's a 72 overall. His awareness is a 72. I don't know why these ratings, you know, you guys know how I feel about that. These things should not be <laughs> on, uh, you know, defensive players. Uh, EA has to get to a point, man, where the ratings are more you know, position specific.
tackle rating, only 68. Oh, where is his coverage, though? There we go. Pursuit is 82. Play recognition is 80, which it doesn't appear to be. Man coverage is 82. Zone coverage is 82. So he, his press is 63. And, and I think that's where he's getting burnt a lot because I've noticed. Let's take a look at the replay real quick, guys, and then we'll get back into the action. I've noticed when I press him is when he usually gets dealt with. And there it is. <laughs> he gave up a touchdown just like that in the last game. Central Michigan still losing. But I'm really enjoying this game again, man. <coughs> it's a lot of fun, man. I mean, we all know the problems that exist in the game, but it's a nice change of pace for me, man, and it's more up to date. You know, where you guys know I play all pro football from time to time, but it's just, you know, it just doesn't feel as up to date. You know, even though there's great football being displayed, you know, so it's good that I can at least find an alternative to Madden that I can still play and get some enjoyment out of it. Different flow and a different pace to the game. I was happy to at least have that option. And you know, since as of right now, this is the last NCAA product, <coughs> you know, make the best of it. So that's another thing that we desperately need in Madden, man, that composure and the home field advantages, man. We, I don't know, call me crazy, but I would have assumed that Living Worlds would have incorporated all of that, and as we can see, it has not. You know, these things have to make it in. Nice ball placement right there. I threw it on the right side. To throw it on the outside, away from the defense. See, and that's what you're supposed to be able to do with the, with the ball, man. Quarterbacking. Put that ball where you want it to go. It's on the oh, a nice little run. Pick up seven. We'll take that. Let's stick with the power game for a little bit. Oh, oh, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, come on, Banks. Ah, oh, my man, and got injured. That was a nice run right there, though. Hopefully he'll be back. Hope it's not anything serious. That's my workhorse. Ah, uh, missed blocks. Look at that. Lyman ain't never see him, man. What's going on with that? Where's the awareness?
There you go. Nice pitch and catch. Man, my man ain't back yet, man. He might be dealing with some issues. But we'll stick with the power game. This Maryland formation is crazy. Nice little run. We'll take that. You know, chip away, man. Chip away at it. You know, I know some guys, you know, I say this a lot when I'm doing my um, live commentaries or live streams. I say this a lot, you know, my gameplay may not be exciting to everyone, but this is how I play, man. You know, I, I play a simulation style. You know, I come in with a plan and things like that. You know, you're not going to see me throwing it all across the field and just trying to put up points. You know, it's a method to my madness, so to speak. Keep chipping away. All right, uh, let's see. I'm getting a little concerned about Banks, man. He hasn't come back yet. Teddy Williamson doing his thing, though. We'll keep feeding him the rock. See if I can get him outside. Okay, my man's out with back spasm, so he should be back next week. We'll live with that. Oh, come on! <laughs> there goes some of the flaws, guys. I mean, listen, I, I'm one of those guys that believe that you also have to factor in bad plays but I mean make an attempt you mean to tell me neither one of those guys could see the, the defendant as you know <laughs> crossing their face essentially uh, I put too much on it You got to make that throw. Uh, let's see. Good catch, good catch. Big time catch right there. Okay. He went up and got that one. Let's take a look at that real quick. Y'all tried to throw it on the outside. Couldn't get as much on it, I guess, because, uh, you know, one would want to believe is because I, you know, didn't really step into the throw. Wobbly pass. It's good to see that kind of stuff. And my man goes up for it. Makes the catch. And I, and I like to show this kind of stuff, man, because, you know, you get a lot of, you know, I'll just say that, you know, there's people that would say there's no good football in EA Sports football game. And I've been saying this, you know, since I could say, uh, since the Madden 12 days. Madden 12 was the one that started to show some signs of life. It really wasn't a great game at that point. But it started showing some signs. And then here in NCAA 14, you know, even though the ball flips around in his hand, I understand that. But he goes up for it, you know. Puts the ball away, as you're going to see, he's going to tuck it away there. Now, some of that stuff could be, you know, questionable right there as far as the 
the way it looks. But at the end of the day, man, when you look at what I was trying to do, I was trying to throw the fade. I was able to throw the fade. Wobbly pass because I didn't step into it. I get it on the receiver's outside shoulder for the most part. Receiver goes up and gets it and makes a great catch. You know, me personally, I would say you can't deny that. You can't deny that and just say, oh, you know, there's no football being displayed. You know, and I'm back, I'm back on that, you know, that mentality that I had when I, when I first started. You know what I mean? When I first started YouTube. You guys remember, man, all I was trying to do was to find the best I could find, you know, out of football games. You know, just so happened Madden NFL was a game that just wasn't representing what guys like myself wanted to see. So Madden became one of the biggest targets. You know, not necessarily bashing, but more so asking questions and giving feedback. But ultimately, I just want to show football. You know, I'm, I'm a huge football fanatic. That's one of my gaming niches. You know, just like you have guys out here who have another niche and the type of commentary they do. I'm a football commentator, but at the same time, you know, I am a critic in, in terms of the game. You know, looking for that pure representation and replication of the real thing. So when I see flaws and such, you know, of course, I'm going to point them out. But I'm also one of those people, and you know, going forward as these games continue to improve, I'm gonna just start showing football, man. And that's why I've decided to do a lot of these live commentaries. Oh. And you know, I do live stream from time to time. You know, it's, to me, I like it. I like the option of being able to stream directly from the console. So I've decided with this one, and also to make sure that you know that the uh, quality is clear, I'm just going to do live commentaries. A nice defense there. Do live commentaries where you still get the good quality, you know, and as far as the game and the way it looks, but then also you know it's live, you know, <laughs> just like as if I was doing a live stream. So. With NCAA, it's always going to be a live commentary versus a live stream. Great defense. Great defense. That's my number one corner over there, number 33. He's the one that, you know, he, he does a good job over there for the most part. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and run this Proud Bear 3. You know, a little bit of pressure. And use Wiggins here. There you go. There you go. Great defense. Great defense. Love how my man crept up and got that. Great defense, baby. Let's go now. That would have been number 20. No love. He definitely wouldn't have made nothing happen in that scenario. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do we want to run here? Uh, I ain't really had nowhere to go. Great defense. I didn't really have too many places to go, too many options. I just threw it to him because I didn't want to take a sack there. And I can't remember how to throw the ball away. I think it's the right stick. I have to look at the. Uh, I have to look at the uh, the button configuration and remember that. Oh God. Oh my goodness. That pressure. Yeah, we just gonna run this out, man. Ain't no there's no need of trying to force anything. We got the lead, so we'll go ahead and take it into the hat.
Ooh, if I could have got in between that. Yeah, man, if I could have slipped through that line right there, I have some, some room to work. Yeah, I got 10 minutes left, guys, on my lunch break. So I'm sure this game is going to bleed into my work time, but we'll be all right. I guess I have, you know, I should be able to get it finished. And then get back to work. There you go. There you go, boys. I got good pressure with Winbush. And Winbush has become a star player. You know, when I started the season, I don't think he was a star. If I'm not mistaken. Let's run some man coverage here. Bad pass. Alright, let's throw some uh let's throw some dime on him, do some two, three, six odd. Uh, send a little bit of pressure. Huh? Good defense. Let's go. Get him off the field. That's how you do it. about making something out of nothing. They had me dead to rights. My man broke some tackles. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to that last tackler though. It seemed like he had somewhat of an angle on him and he just peeled away. So I don't know what that was about. Damn, good blitz. So, so far, guys, it looks like me turning up the rush defense, you know, has helped as far as slider-wise. I'm going to run the ball here, keep it on the ground. I think I can get these two. And, and I like that. You know, I, like I said, I'm that type of gamer, man. I don't want to be getting 800 yards in two games rushing. You know, that, that's not fun to me. Ooh. I don't know how I slipped in there and missed that tackle. It looks like they had me right there. And Williamson was able to somehow slide through. Yeah, Williamson is carrying the load right now. I mean, it's only 34 yards, but he's coming up with big time runs, you know, picking up eight on first down. 
I'm gonna pass in a minute though. Pick up his first down on the ground, and I'm gonna pass it. It's third down, and they are about to look at the football away from the first down marker. Ball State is up by a touchdown. Let's go, let's go. Keep those feet churning. <laughs> I said feet. Keep those feet churning, baby. Man, Williams back in ball. He got it all day out here. We put him in a quick out route. Nobody's on him. They say y'all gonna give me that, and <laughs> we will definitely take it. No problem. Y'all gonna get that out. We definitely taking that. Here's the eighth play of the series. Man, coverage. I'm gonna see if I can get him on that. That comeback right there. Nah, don't do it. Yeah, I'm gonna say go short. Smart pass. Good read, good read, good read. Look at the line, man. I'm scared to run it up the middle. Them boys is tired. Need to, uh, I guess I'll run a stretch. Get, my, get out on the edge. Them boys are gasping for air up, up front. Oh no! Oh man, I had him. You know what I noticed, man? I think the pass leading is a little more um Well, not not exactly. I can't say that. It, it's about the same as Madden. I forgot I got the sliders turned down. And that's why, you know, when you pass lead and you got the accuracy turned down, they really throw it <laughs> wide. You know, I got it on 20, and I tried to throw it to the left, giving my guy some room to clear out. But as you can see, oh, come on. As you can see, you got to be careful with the pass leading when you got that slider turned down. Which, you know. Again, that's something I appreciate. You know, it feels like it creates somewhat of a degree of difficulty, so I can appreciate that. All right, we keep playing defense. We'll walk away with this one. Very pivotal for the 
Mm. I like that play. That was a nice play design. Use that noise there, guys. I had to send a message to someone. Oh, he was almost out of there. And yeah, we communicate on instant messenger at my job, you know, especially with me being at home. So I had to send a message to somebody real quick. Look at that. Use a defense right there. That's great defense. I got to pat myself on the back. Y'all might hear some ringing um, before I finish the game. You know, I'm currently signed into our chat feature, you know, as a an administrator, I may get somebody asking a question or whatever. So if that happens, excuse that. Could have put that on the money. He had him. He had him. Throw a zone blitz at him. And I'll control my man here. Solid defense. We take the ball over. I should have bounced that to the outside. I clearly had room out there. And I took the safe route and cut it inside. Nice cut. Still ain't composed out there. This looks like an easy first down, though. Smoke route from my man here. Oh, the corner overplayed it. He was there. He overplayed it, over pursued it. That could have been costly because I had predetermined that throw. I had let the ball go. So if he would have played it the right way, that could have been a pick six. Ask yourselves, was that a flaw or was that a football play? Oh, 
Goodness, they opened that hole up. So Williamson has come in, man, and helped carry the low. You know, he's not quite, not quite Banks, but he, he's done the job. We appreciate the effort. Might as well try to chew that clock up. My star receiver doing his thing. See, you have to acknowledge stuff like that too, man. I was able to throw the ball before he broke, and the receiver didn't just magically zip to the ball. You guys remember in years past, stuff like that would happen with EA football. You throw the ball, and they just magically zip, turn around, and they know where the ball is. Like They, they get their head whipped around so fast. That doesn't happen no more. Well, you know, at least it doesn't happen on a consistent basis from what I see. So that's going to do it, guys. We desperately needed this win, man, coming off a loss from North Texas. We'll go ahead and kneel it out. And we get the W, man, 17-7. to 7. So, so far, I'm, I'm liking, you know, what I'm seeing out of the adjustment with the slider, you know, turning up the... Uh, um, turning up the... Rush defense to 75, and it looks like it is negating my ability to get these breakout runs. So we'll continue to test that. You know, I feel like you know you should definitely be able to get a decent numbers. You know, you can go over 100 and stuff like that, but you know I don't prefer to. I prefer not to play a game where I'm getting 200 and some yards per game. You know, so I'm still testing that out, man. I have to determine if it's the competition I'm playing versus just the game itself that's you know allowing that to happen so in this game you can clearly see I wasn't over dominating with the run but I was able to get the run off so alright thanks for watching guys I'll be back with another game very soon peace